Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Denise Lachelle and I'm back with another video, y'all. Before I get into this word, we're just going to pray and invite the Holy Spirit in. So, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just want to thank you for this person on the opposite side of the screen. We know when two or more gather in your name, that there you are in the midst, God. I pray that this word be all of you, none of me, God. Humble me right now, Father. I pray that you, I pray that this word flow the same way that you gave it to me, God. And that it be a blessing to your people. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. And amen again. I pray that y'all having a good day, y'all. Today is Saturday. Today is the Sabbath day where we just praise God. Amen. And yes, I am fasting. When y'all see this video, no, y'all gonna see this video after I finish making it. So yeah. Amen. But um, today's word is God develops character. And I'm not going to read everything that I said because this word ties into um, another word that I'm going to go over today. But being in Christ is the hardest thing i ever done. It literally scares me because I'm, I am a sinner and I mess up and I don't want to go to hell. I want to do God's will, but I also want to be blessed. I want to have fun. I want to have friends. I want to have a boyfriend. I want to make a lot of money. However having fun can cause sin the love of money is sin having unequally yoked friends and a boyfriend leads to sin so yeah and i'll be like i was asking god like god why don't i have friends why am i single and um before y'all judge me this is a nudge judgmental zone but i saw this thing that nine times out of ten sometimes it don't even be you that's the problem it be others around you god wants to isolate you because he knows your heart and what you deserve and what you bring to the table and a lot of times a lot of people friends and all females and all men and all they take a good person for granted because they don't know what to do with that person so it's not necessarily you because we fight not against flesh and blood. It's the spirit that's on them that's antagonizing them. Like, I'm dealing with a good person right now and I don't know how to treat this person. So all they can do is avoid you. So it's not you. Like, I know I'm a good friend. I know I can be a good girlfriend or be a good wife. But God hasn't released that to me yet. And he hasn't released that to any of us yet. So we're not strong enough. Um, we're not strong enough yet. God said, because if I release you, you will fall short to my glory. And I can't let that happen. You came so far. So don't step out the gym. Your muscles have not formed yet. There is something I am training you for that you have to be strong enough to handle it when it comes. So I forgot what it was, y'all, but it was so good. Basically, she was saying that. If God give you, no, no, no. If he show you what he has plans for you, what he has plans for you, it might scare you because of how big and great it is. God's plans, his His ways are so much bigger than ours that if he gives us, if he show us even a little glimpse of what he has for us, we might, we might fumble it. We might drop it by accident. That's what fun with me. We might drop that blessing by accident. So he developing us. It's 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 he he literally we're going through darkness. Our seed is in the ground. We're in that darkness. It's sprouting up. It's growing to be a big tree because we cannot step out. We cannot be this big blossomless tree if we don't go through the stages of becoming. Ooh. We got to go through the stages of becoming who we want to be, y'all. And um, once this obstacle is over, y'all, I know I was saying that. But the obstacle that I was telling y'all about, I've been working on it. And it's gone. So now we back in motion. <laughs> but all glory be to God. So none of me, all of God. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. Like Shea Serve says. So... Galatians, ooh, Galatians, y'all, Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, y'all know this, 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 it says, let us not become weary in well-doing, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest, if we do not 
give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong in a family of believers. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Hold on. Thank you, Jesus, because um, I was just looking at my bishop from my church. My pastor, has we have bishop day, and he was saying that sometimes your family is not your family, but your family is the body of believers because Jesus said that any of y'all could be my mother and my brother if y'all believe in my father in heaven. Hallelujah. So that's why we like, you my brother, you're my sister, because we are believers and our father is God. Hallelujah. Are y'all hearing me? I'm I'm talking to somebody. Somebody somebody hears me. Somebody knows. <laughs> somebody is on one accord with me. God works in season. In due season, you will reap the harvest. If you fail not, you will reap the harvest. Once you keep knocking at that obstacle, keep going down that, keep going in circles around that, building a Jericho, the wall's going to fall down. Your God is gonna release you, propel you. It's gonna be like a, like a what's those? A bow and arrow. It's gonna go so fast. God gonna release us so fast. It's gonna be like bling, boom, hit the, hit hit the red circle right in the middle. You are gonna get that friend. You are gonna get that car, that business, that husband, the husband that you deserve. The most ama a most amazing fairy tale thing that you can think about. That's your heart desire. God is gonna give it to you. It might not be the way that you think it is because he don't, God works in mysterious ways, but it's going to happen. Faith, 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 faith. It's going to happen because God works in season, in a new season. If you just keep going, if you keep working out in the gym, spiritually, it's going to happen. I know it's hard. Don't get me wrong now. And nine times out of ten, once you work in, excuse me, once you work in, the devil is going to try to throw you off your game. So we got to be smarter than him. Um, Like I said, I was just going to say this. I know it's hard, but you got this. Yes, you have sin, but you have redemption through Christ. Sin no more. Jesus took our sins, our iniquities on the cross for our sins, y'all. And we have to understand that when God, when Jesus died on the cross for our sins, that because he did die on the cross for our sins, we have to realize that we can't just be lollygagging and keep on sinning. We have to recognize our sin and work on our sin. Yes, we're going to fall for sure. But that does not mean just keep on doing it. That don't mean keep on doing it. That means work on it. Give it to God. Keep praying on it until the wall come down. Hallelujah. God is a grace-given a grace -given Father. He look, He judges our heart. If he's seeing our heart, that we just saying, oh, yeah, this, that, and the third. And we not actually putting in the work. We're not in the gym working on it. We're not in our Bibles. We're not in our long time. Then... That's when the judgment, the wrath comes on you and the, the sin will lead to death because you're not working on that sin that Jesus died on the cross for. Amen. Keep training to not sin to, to not sin, and let the sin go. God is with you. You will never fail. God is with you. You will never fail. I'm 21 years old, so I'm not sure who my crowd is right now, but I'm pretty sure you guys are around my age. We are young. And even if... You feel me? It don't matter. There's no age in this. But even if we are young, we have a life to live. You understand what I'm saying? So just because it's it, just because it's it's a spirit, it's a it's a time period right now where you don't have this, that, and the third. It does not mean it's not going to happen. You are not going to fail. God is not going to forsake you. He is not going to just leave you broke, busted, and disgusted. He is not going to leave you without a job, without a car, without somebody that's elevating your mind, without you being able to elevate others because we are bodies of believers. We are a family in this kingdom. Hallelujah. Know how God, yes, know how God is, period. But I was going to say, know how big God is. Meditate on how big he is. The, uni the, the the world is so pretty. So many things I haven't even seen that I want to see. But we got to meditate on how big God is. God is so big and glorious. Like, 
Like, I'm just in awe of him. And sometimes I, I have to sit and just think about how big he is because how big he is. Hallelujah. Um, but, yeah, be okay in the uncomfortable. Sometimes it's uncomfortable. I'll be real with y'all real quick. When I first moved to, to where I'm at now, it was uncomfortable for me. I was working at Walgreens. I was very uncomfortable. But if I would have just wallowed in my misery and just was sad over my dog, I still am. I miss him to death. I pray that he's okay. But if I would have just sat and wallowed in my misery, I wouldn't be where I am today. If I, It was so uncomfortable in the time of leading up to my first video. Just say yes to God. It was so uncomfortable. And right now, it's, it's, it's a little bit better. But I will look back on this time. And all glory be to God. So, yeah. Be okay and uncomfortable. You came so far. Do not give up now. <laughs> y'all, God is so good. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching this video. Again, any information, any type of prayer, anything that you need to get in touch with me will be in the description box below. Y'all, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Share this video out to anybody who y'all feel it can be blessed by this. And I will see y'all in the next video. Deuces. Oh, this is my nails. It's cute. Ah, okay. But I'll see you on this video. Bye.